Hi, welcome to day 10 of 12 days of Single Message Transforms videos and blogs. My name's Robin Moffat. I'm a developer advocate at Confluent. Today, I wanna to show you a really useful Single Message Transform. You can use it in source connectors and sync connectors, and it lets you opt to drop fields as they pass through the pipeline or to rename them. So you can say, I would like to include just this set of fields, or I would like to exclude this set of fields. So like bring everything across except these, or bring across only these set of fields. Or this field here, it's got the wrong name, or it's got a name different from what I'd like it to be, either as I load it into Kafka with a source connector, or as I load it from Kafka down to a target system with a sync connector. And we can rename it as it passes through. So let's have a look at some source data and see what we're gonna do in the first case with a sync connector. Let's have a look at the source data we're working with here. We're going to use Kafka Cat to consume it from the topic and just look at the payload part of it. And we can see in one of these sample messages, we've got information about transactions going on. We can see how much it was for and how many units. We can see what they bought. We can also see credit card details. Now, it's valid to be holding this in our Kafka topic because we want to hold information about our transactions. But imagine we want to use information about transactions in a target system, but we don't want to send the credit card details across because why do they need credit card details? So for that particular use case, we can actually say, well, take this topic, stream the data through Kafka Connect, but as it passes through Kafka Connect, just exclude these particular fields. So the configuration for that looks like this. We're gonna use a database as our example sync connector. So we say we're gonna use the JDBC sync connector. We're gonna use MySQL, but you could use any database that supports JDBC drivers. So Oracle, DB2, SQL Server, Postgres, etc. And then we say, here is our topic that's got the data in. And we say we've got a transformation. So we give it a name, drop CC. It's got a type, replace field, which is being applied to the value part of the message. So you can also apply this transformation to the key if you want to drop fields out of a key. Here we want to drop them from the value part of the message. And then we say, which fields do we want to drop? So there's work in progress in KIP 629 to change the language that's being used in the configuration. So at the moment it's called blacklist, but that is gonna to change to exclude. The particular release I've got here um, doesn't work with that, so we've gotta use blacklist. So here we specify which fields we want to exclude as they pass through the pipeline. So we set that running and it says it's created it. So now what we should see when we head over to our target system is that full payload being sent across minus those particular fields. We saw in a previous day how you can actually take data as it passes through and say, well, you're not allowed to see this data. And so we mask the contents of those fields. Here though, we're saying we're gonna drop those fields entirely. Because if you think if you're just masking fields, they remain in the schema, but you're just sending across a bunch of hard-coded mask values on top of them. But if you don't even need that credit card data in that target system, it makes sense to just remove the fields as they pass through. So let's go and have a look in our database. And we can see if we list out our tables, we've got a table here, day 10 transactions, which is the one that we're loading. And if we say describe that particular table, we can see we've got the schema minus the fields that we didn't want to include. So that's the first example of using the replace field transform. You can exclude fields from the payload as it comes through. So you say include everything except for these. We can also do the inverse. We can say stream the data through Kafka Connect, either a source or a sync. And we can say, I would like to only include this list of fields. So if you've got a very wide payload and lots and lots of different fields in there, and you only want a handful of them, well, one option is what we did here and you exclude everything else and you have to type in everything else. Or you say, for my particular use case, I want to stream this data through and I only want this list of fields. So let's show you what that looks like here. So in this case, we're gonna do it in a source connector. Now, whether you put it in source or sync dep depends entirely on your requirements and use case. If you're ingesting data from a source system with very wide records and you only want some of those records, you'd probably do it at source. But a lot of time you want to think about what's this data going to be used for by other people and does it make sense to actually not store that data in Kafka? Because maybe it's not useful for you, but it could be useful for someone else. So think carefully before you don't bring data into Kafka or you truncate the number of fields that you're bringing into Kafka. Sometimes you'd say, well, I don't need it, but other people will. 
So we put the full payload into Kafka and then we use it in a sync connector to exclude it for our use case. Anyway, what we're going to do here is we are going to say as the data flows into Kafka through Kafka Connect, only include this particular set of fields. So we're going to pull the data in from a database in this case. So if we go and have a look at that database that I've just exited out of and we say show tables, we've got a table here called production data. And if we describe production data, we can see in there, surprisingly familiar from our previous example, information about transactions. And in this particular table in the database, we have credit card details. So I'm showing you with the same data sets and different variations on a theme. But in our example scenario, data in a source system, the database, and we don't want to include all of that data as it passes through into our target or into Kafka rather as we ingest it. So here we're going to do this. We're going to say I would like to ingest that data into Kafka. Now I'm doing kind of like a bit of a quick and dirty approach here. I'm saying use the JDBC source connector, connect to my database and actually just pull in uh, everything. So we're doing a bulk. So this means every 10 seconds it's going to pull in the entire contents of that table, which you probably don't want to do. But for the purpose of illustrating a single message transform, this should be perfect. So we're going to do this. And again, the, uh, the language has changed. So we're using whitelist for now, but it should be include when KIP 629 uh, is fully implemented. And we're going to do this. So we do that. So this is going to pull in data from that production data table. And we're going to say, again, we want to just uh, use a single message transform. Here we're calling it select fields. These transforms are just labels. So I'm using select field. You could use foo or wibble or anything you want to. So for that particular label, we say uh, transforms and then the label. It's got a type. The type is replace field as before. We're applying it to the value part of the message. And then we say which fields do we want to include? So here we're specifying that. We say just bring in these particular fields. So if you compare that to the schema that's in the source data, you can see we're excluding credit card information, we're excluding customer remarks, we're excluding uh, a couple of other things in there as well, which I can't spot just at, right now. But the point is we just want a handful of those fields and exclude everything else. So that's created. And if we now go and have a look at our Kafka topic that we should have populated from that, so because it's called production data and we've specified the topic prefix of day 10 dash, then our Kafka topic should, if we uh, just list out our Kafka topics using Kafka cat, we can see we've got a topic here, day 10 transactions was our previous one. Day 10 dash production underscore data is the one that we've just populated because that's taken, if we page up, that's taken the topic prefix as specified by the source connector and the table um, name itself. And now we can have a look at the contents of that. So we've got our source connector, pulling in data from a source system, applying a transformation to only include a certain set of fields into a Kafka topic. We saw which topics exist on my broker. We picked out the particular topic name that we're interested in. Now we can have a look at the messages that exist in that topic. And you can see we're just ingesting those particular fields. So cost, units, item and transaction date, we don't have any of the other fields which exist in that source system. Replace field, we've seen. You can include um, fields. You can exclude fields. You can also use it to rename fields. So we might say um, in this system, the cost should actually be called amount or units should be called quantity or however you want to rename your data. So maybe you have kind of like a common business definition for particular uh, metrics and entities and source systems that you're integrating into Kafka use different terms for the same entity. So you can actually start to rename those as they pass in. Or you've got data in a Kafka topic and you want to send down to a target system. And in that target system, the object exists already or for whatever reason, they want a particular field with a different name. This is a perfect single message transformation for doing that. Just as that data passes through, we rename one or more fields. So this looks like this. We've got our connector here. Again, we're going to connect to that um, uh, to data in Kafka and stream it down to a database. We're actually going to take that same topic that we just populated 
So if you actually look at the topology of what's going on here, we've got kind of Kafka to database, back to Kafka and so on and so on. Forget that really, because the point here is to illustrate data going from one place to another using Kafka Connect and the single message transforms to modify that data as it passes through. So here we have a Kafka topic. In that Kafka topic, we have a field called transaction date. And, and when we write it into the database, we want to change the name of it and call it transaction timestamp because that's why we want to rename it. So here, JDBC Sync Connector, here's our topic, here's our transformation, we're calling, going to call it rename TS. So rename TS has got a type. The type again is replace field uh, dollar value. We've used the same single message transformation each time. All that varies is the configurations that we set. So this time we're setting the renames configuration. We could also set the uh, whitelist or include or blacklist or exclude uh, configuration properties. So we create that. And then when we head over to our target system, to MySQL, and we say show tables, we'll have a table that matches the topic name that we've just ingested. If we describe that table, we should see the name of that field is, as we've renamed it, transaction timestamp. So replace field single message transform is really, really useful. You can use it for modifying your payloads as they come into Kafka in a source connector, for modifying payloads as they leave Kafka in a sync connector down to a target system. Think carefully about where you implement it. Think about who else is going to use that data or might want to use that data. So be careful about dropping fields on their way into Kafka, unless it's kind of like uh, personally identifiable information that you just don't want in your Kafka topic for various good reasons, in which case you drop it out then. But if it's things like we've got a, a wide payload, I only want a handful of those fields, maybe other people would want those fields and you just kind of like ingest the whole lot and drop it out at egress if you need to. Also, you can use the same transformation for doing exactly that, saying I've got data in Kafka. As we stream it down to a target system, I only want to select a handful of those fields or exclude certain fields. So it avoids lots of overhead of kind of writing stream processes and writing back into Kafka and stuff like that. We simply say, as the data passes through our Kafka Connect pipeline, drop the data, rename the fields also, as we saw. So I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been a lot of fun making these single message transform videos. We're on day 10. There's another two days to go. Please do subscribe to the channel. There's lots more videos on there. There's more of these single message transform videos. There's lots of tutorials about Kafka Connect and also lots of conference talks and uh, lessons and learnings all about Apache Kafka and Confluent Platform. So go and check out the playlists and stay tuned for lots more content.